In Glen County tonight, the community is in shock and mourning. A 16 year old Brunswick football player killed in a shooting. Authorities responded to reports of gunfire last night and found Mikhail Ellis, who had died on the scene. Cheyenne Cole is on your side tonight remembering Mikhail's life with his family, and she joins us with details from Brunswick. Michael Ellis's family says the Brunswick Pirates football player was on his way home from practice when he was gunned down in the middle of the street. Now they want to know who's responsible for his death. 16 forever. That's the age Michael Ellis's cousins say he'll always be. His tragic death leaving a devastating mark on the community and his family. Brunswick police say they found him just after 9 o'clock Tuesday night on Johnston Street where he died from his injuries. He don't mess with nobody. He's quiet. Yeah. He was coming home from football practice and they had shot him and they shot him over nothing really. They shot my cousin several times. Mike Hill's coach Garrett Grady posted a message on social media about him saying, quote, Mike Hill was a joy to coach. He was a tremendous teammate and he was a great friend. His jersey, number one. He was a guy. He loved basketball. He, he did wrestling. He did every sport, really. He did track, wrestling, everything. His cousins say they don't know who shot Michael or why anyone would want to, but they say karma will bring them to justice. God always see, like, God always has his eyes open. He, he know who you is. The Brunswick Police Department is investigating the shooting. If you have any information about it, you're asked to call the police. In Brunswick, Cheyenne Cole, First Coast News, on your side.